secret that the feds have been scrutinizing Detroit's former mayor and his father for years. Now the corruption probe may finally be winding down with possible indictments expected as soon as tomorrow. Sources tell the Action News investigators that indictments could be announced against several people, including former Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick, his father Bernard Kilpatrick, and the ex-mayor's longtime friend Bobby Ferguson. Sources say the indictments may involve pay-to-play racketeering charges, and they could be related to contracts with Detroit's water and sewerage departments. If the indictments involve the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, otherwise known as RICO, the U.S. Attorney will have have to prove that the criminal acts involve a series of transactions performed as part of an ongoing criminal organization. It allows prosecutors to bring in a number of different bribes, a number of different uh, contract awards and things like that and say it's all part of a single pattern in which authority was exercised through an office. Wayne State Law Professor Peter Henning is a former federal prosecutor. He says RICO is hard to prove, but it does allow the government to go for tougher penalties in the 15 to 20 year range. The real bang for the buck that you get out of RICO is because you can bring in so many different acts as part of the pattern of racketeering activity that you might not be able to bring together into a single prosecution, it, it raises the stakes in that way, that you have so many different possible crimes that make up the pattern that that can result in a substantial sentence. Ferguson and Kwame Kilpatrick have already been indicted in two separate investigations. In June, a federal grand jury indicted the former mayor on 19 counts of tax and mail fraud charges related to his controversial Patrick Civic Fund. In September, the grand jury indicted Ferguson on charges including conspiracy, money laundering, conspiracy to obstruct justice, and felon in possession of a firearm in connection with the Garden View Estates Project in Detroit. It's been widely reported that Bernard Kilpatrick has been under investigation for years. In a sign the government is closing in on him, he recently had a publicly funded attorney appointed to represent him as he deals with federal prosecutors. And at this point, none of the attorneys involved with any of these potential defendants are commenting or returning calls about the possible indictments tomorrow.